I fear not the man who has practiced 10,000 kicks once, but I fear the man who has practiced one kick 10,000 times. Enter Bruce Lee. I mean, that's Bruce Lee in a nutshell. Over and over and over, he did the same thing, and it shows in the technique because there's no wasted energy. There's no wasted movements. Everything he does, he does with a purpose. He goes in there with an idea of what he's trying to accomplish, and he gets it done. Bruce Lee is the absolute best. Bruce Lee is the man. His grappling, his takedown defense figure to be tested here tonight. But there aren't that many guys who are going to want to stand and trade on a napkin in the center of the octagon with the great Bruce Lee. No, if you're fighting Bruce Lee, you're shooting for takedowns right yeah. away. Bruce Lee, as usual, ready to battle as he tries to take home the title. Here he is, the undisputed baddest man on the planet, the UFC heavyweight champion. And man, does he have all the confidence and the self-belief that comes with that distinction. Yeah, when you're the baddest man on the planet, you are confident. You have to be a bit arrogant, a bit cocky. And that's what this guy has. He has been here on so many different occasions. This is like another night in the office, but you can never tell by the way that he prepares. When you watch him prepare, he treats every one of these defenses as, as if it's the first time he's fighting for a UFC championship. No, you put that well. He has had that patented intensity about him this week, trying to occupy some headspace in the challenger. Huge heavyweight title fight is upon us. Welcome on now, folks. And now let's get you our tale of the tape for this heavyweight championship fight. We set it inside the octagon. Here is Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. <laughs> Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner, presenting the challenger, Bruce the Dragon Lee. And now, introducing the champion, fighting out of the red corner, ladies and gentlemen, presenting the reigning, defending, undisputed UFC heavyweight champion of the world, Assassin. Herb Dean, third Ready. party in the octagon Ready. tonight. Good. All right, so here we are from the world's most famous arena. It is, of course, Madison Square Garden. This is where the Thug Rose scene went down. This, this is where it happened, J.A. E. Lost for words, so I yelled the same thing over and over again. Pick Rose, not my units, and you can hear me yell, Thug Rose, Thug Rose, Thug Rose. <laughs> You control the fight. Keep fighting behind the jab. There's the leg kick. That one checked by Lee. Beautiful combination there. If you are teaching an up-and-coming fighter about throwing volume strikes effectively, you can do worse than watching the film on this. It's a master class, John. It's a master class in mixing up the target, mixing up the strikes, and ending your combinations with the kick. Big elbow there, Lance. All right, so one minute into the fight, we've got a full-on brawl here, DC. It's great for the fans, not necessarily for the gas tank if this thing goes much longer. Not great for the gas tank and not good for the old noggin. You can't take so many upside the head, somebody's going to sleep. And look at the post on the opposite side to give himself the correct space to land these beautiful knees immediately gets the underhook. Huge block there. So he's really starting to put together some significant. He's on balance. Nice slip and counter there by Lee. 
All right, so now blood is a factor. You see that he has been opened up in that eye area. Yeah, he's got hit in the eye, and now there's a cut. But it's nothing to worry about too much now. But he's got to be very careful with it as we go forward. Back and forth we go. Well, he is at his kickboxing best tonight. Another nice, good series of kicks by him. There. I mean, the kicks are... Oh, big knee! As his opponent postures up, he opens it. Lee gets up. He is back on the feet here. All right, there's that switch kick, DC. He switches his feet really fast. Oh, he's got a good All right, so now we start to see some redness underneath the elbow. You got to think he's going to continue to attack the body with all of his strikes. Well, his opponent has not done anything to deter him. He should keep doing this, keep going to the well until his opponent finds an answer, because right now, he seems lost to him. Well, no denying the durability on the other side, but at this point, you just got to find that kill shot and get him out of there. A lot of times that comes with reps, that comes with taking your time. You get excited and you want to finish it because you think it's right there, but at times you just overswing and you miss a lot. He needs to slow down if he wants to get his opponent out of this fight. Tries to work it into a takedown. Well, he's bleeding from the mouth, Daniel. Oh, guillotine, guillotine here. That guillotine is tight. Moving his head on the ground here, avoiding a lot of these big shots. Fighters back to their feet here. Came of inches right there. Wow. It was a good night if that landed. Well, still plenty of time to go here in round one, but what a start for this man tonight. Aggressive to a fault. Staying technical, though, and very accurate with his strikes as well. Good start for him here tonight. Oh! Big shots exchanged in the pocket there. One minute to go in the round. We got to whip his hip into that kiss. Oh, Superman punches true. Well, champ, I don't see that well, but it's hard to miss the redness underneath that elbow. A lot of bodily investment. Oh, it's not get to you. That guillotine is tight. Oh, favoring position over submission. Very smart decision. You never want to value the submission over keeping dominant position. Nice movement to avoid some of those strikes from the top. This is where he wants to be. All right, half guard position here, DC. You have an extra hop in your step when you talk about fighters working out of this half. Oh, man. I like half guard as a top fighter. I understand half guard as a bottom fighter. Don't want to be there. It's right. very dangerous. But if you are there, you have to be winning the position of the underhook. It opens up so many opportunities for you to either escape or sweep. I need you to be a little bit sharper, okay? All right, let us show you the highlights now from that previous round, of which there were a lot, including the strike that we believe was the one that opened up his lip. He opened up a cut on the lip. It's bleeding pretty good. It's not in a horrible spot, though. It will hurt whenever he gets punched on the lip again, but it's not under the eye, it's not on the brow. He can get through this. He's You're just got to be a little more careful. And he told us in the fighter meeting he likes the taste of his own blood, so that helps things a little bit. He'll get a lot of things, he'll get a lot of it now, then. All right, next round is underway. We will continue to monitor that story on moving forward. Oh, he lands another strike to the body, really starting to connect on a lot of shots to the midsection, and these will take their toll as this fight goes into the latter rounds. advantage and he put it to good use there. Oh, Look at that. He can't even stand. Ooh, found a home for that knee. Alright, well he rocked him pretty good, but 
didn't sort of smell blood in the water, and now his opponent's back in the fight. I mean, blood's in the water. You gotta go out there. You didn't want that left hand. Oh, good knee. And now the damage is about to start. Well, this is absolutely the hurt business. It's hard to see which party is more injured, but I think both fighters have been injured. He's going to start trying to move to a submission here. It looks like he's trying to attack the arm triangle. Oh, that looks tight. Oh, gives up on the submission now. Well, he had it tight, John, but then he decided to keep the dominant position by giving it up. Moving his head pretty well defensively on the ground here. You have to fight that. Submission attempts in bunches, another one here. Oh, it's getting tight. You gotta be kidding me, how did he get out? He just stayed calm, was able to withstand the fire, and now he finds himself out and safe. So the crowd absolutely loving it as these fighters work their way back to the feet. The fighters are back to their feet now, and they can take in the applause because they deserve it after that graphic exchange. Oh, continuing to work the body to great effect. Another beautiful body shot there. You see the damage starting to accumulate. Maybe some defense would be wise at this point in the fight. I think so, John. You can't just get beat up to the body. It doesn't show itself right away. It takes time whenever you're beating somebody up from the body and working your way up to the head. But right now, we're starting to see the damage, and you see it not only in the body, but in the reaction of the opponent. Wow! Oh, man, DC, he would appear to be in real trouble. Oh, man! Huge kick to the body. He's hurting the bad man. That right hook is nasty. Oh, that'll do it! Oh, my goodness. With a massive highlight at the garden. Oh, oh, oh my goodness. Here is Bruce Buffer with the official decision. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Herb Dean's called a stop to this contest at three minutes of round number two. Declaring the winner by knockout and still the undisputed UFC heavyweight champion of the world, Assassin. Well, he came in with the moniker of baddest man on the planet, and that is exactly the way he goes out. Congratulations to the undisputed UFC heavyweight champion of the world, your winner tonight by way of the KO. And that's a big man celebrating with his team right now. Enjoy it, boys. You maximize the moment tonight.